Sebastian, it's so great to be with you here in Chicago. What is it about commodities that makes it such an interesting career choice? Commodities affects every one of us in every single part of our life. So when you, when you look at the price of fuel, you're thinking of it from the point of view of how much does it actually cost to fill up my car? But actually today we think about the, the price of oil, not just from that, that perspective, but also from the perspective of, am I gonna buy an electric vehicle next or stick with a combustion vehicle as my next vehicle that I buy? And then of course you come back to weather. Weather drives so much of what we do in my markets so that from one week to one month or one season, the weather can have such an impact and now it's a global impact for us. So when it's, when it's extremely cold in each of the, uh, of the regions of, of the US and uh, uh, in Europe and even across Asia, you get this uh, pull between who, who will pay more for that gas at any point in time over the winter. So these are just, this is just one example of how these markets are, are so interesting and how they have their, their own uh, idiosyncratic um, uh, issues within them that make them so fascinating. And also it lends itself to how we think about how to model these uh, uh, examples and some of the importance of, of these markets to everybody's lives and every day. So your team is really a global one. How does the team work and interact together when they're covering so many different time zones? One of the principles of how we think about that is we don't try and force teams to work together. What we do is we create a culture of teams being able to facilitate these comparable uh, processes. And you do that through finding opportunities for people to tackle common problems. A lot of our competitors have a siloed approach. They like teams to not work together. We think about it very differently and we actually facilitate through these conversations and through the, uh, the meetings across all of our teams to find those opportunities where teams can actually tackle that same problem. So it is a, it is a cultural difference of how we think about it. It is, it is a real edge in how we think about these markets. So if I take just the oil, ex oil market as one example, post COVID, the market was in a state of constant flux between supply and demand that was evolving and changing. As demand was evolving and changing in, in Asia and China, we had the, uh, the Singapore-based team really tackling that problem with some high granularity data that we were finding to uh, improve our process. Then in the US, how would supply respond to the post-COVID era and tracking at a well level, the production growth was very important to us and the US team tackled that problem. And then all teams globally across actually oil and gas were tackling the problem of what would refineries do and respond to prices because prices had come off by so much, how would the refineries respond to that economic signal? So that was a global problem. Um, it was best handled somewhat regionally uh, and was also important to compare and contrast on some of those, uh, of those uh, forecasts that we had there. So uh, these are just examples of how having a truly global business is important to us, how to tackle through the data process of what we have and then how to bring, bring it back to a comparability process across all teams. What does the career trajectory of these team members look like? We have a very simple ethos in our business. We hire very good people and we turn them into literally the industry best. So we have a, we have a three-pronged approach about how we, uh, how we bring people onto our platform. Number one is we hire from non-traditional backgrounds. So meteorology, it can be hydrology, it can be transmission. And often these people come from a background in academia and they have a research background, and often what they lack is the resources to follow through with their research. And then there's the second group, which is where we find the rising stars in the industry. The people have already chosen commodities as the vocation for them. Bringing these people on is all about surrounding them with the industry leaders and giving them a pathway to success to become an industry leader themselves and really giving people an opportunity to then deliver at the Citadel level. And then the third is, we scour the universities for the most talented people, the most well rounded people to come into our business and we're educating them on the way through but also giving them a career path. Other organisations wait for people to be time qualified to promote. We do the exact opposite. We promote according to accomplishments and skill and we accelerate the path of that for the people who are here. We made somebody a senior analyst within five years, which is really a very, very short runway to such a, an important level of, of experience that somebody has to, to be able to get to that level. And we did it purely on the background and, the, uh, and, and what they were delivering to us. So we take great pride in being able to do that. And we also have a reputation now in the industry where if you want to be the best in what you're doing, you then come to Citadel in commodities, you then learn from and you're surrounded by the best and you can accelerate your career in a way that no others can.